This year, I spent New Year's Eve alone. Meanwhile, the rest of the world got drunk, made out with their lovers, danced in pubs and clubs and watched fireworks out their windows. As I had this time alone, I decided to take the opportunity to find a place to reflect. Long story short, I ended up on the top of a hill somewhere in the middle of the Cotswolds. It was very cold, very damp and very dark but somewhat peaceful. I've always found the societal expectations surrounding New Year's Eve to be a somewhat strange concept. I used to set myself unrealistic goals and put excessive pressure on myself to achieve all these different New Year resolutions in hopes of ultimately achieving my perception of perfection. Get more organised, eat healthier, spend more time with family and friends, get off my phone! Lose weight, get a better sleep routine, go to the gym about five times a week, save more money, spend less money, study more, travel more, read more, be more. But how can I do all of these things all at once? I soon realised that realistically I probably won't go to the gym five times a week this year. In fact, I probably won't go at all. And that's okay. I would love to be more organised but it isn't really my style and ultimately all the other goals I set for myself weren't actually things I truly cared about or wanted to achieve. I felt like I had to fit in and meet society's expectations of me in order to succeed at this whole living thing. But now I'm kind of fed up of it. I want to be so unconventionally imperfect and full of flaws and mistakes amongst my victories. I want to laugh and cry and have bad days along with the good ones because life is never perfect but that's what makes it so beautiful. So I rewrote my new year's resolutions. I only had three. Number one is to fall in love. To fall in love with the world around me, the exciting opportunities to come and the beautiful individuals I'm surrounded with. But ultimately I want to learn how to love myself fiercely and unapologetically. Number two is to embrace. To learn how to dance in the rain instead of running away from it. Facing my fears bit by bit. To be thankful for the things I would usually resent. To search for little glimpses of beauty in somewhat ugly situations. Pain can lead to strength and wisdom and I often seem to forget that. Number three is to forgive, to forgive the souls who mistreated mine, to make peace with my past and to forgive myself for the things I can't quite do yet, to forgive myself for the days where I can't quite get out of bed, to forgive myself for the silly mistakes I make as I grow, to remind myself that it's okay to be struggling, it's okay to be vulnerable and it's okay to not always succeed. I guess what I'm trying to say with all of this is that progress and growth doesn't have to be dependent on the passing of time or a public holiday. It's okay if you're not ready yet. It's okay if you're scared. It's okay if you don't have a plan. Celebrate small victories and take things in your own time. The world isn't going anywhere. Breathe. Mm -hmm.